Well, I guess this is goodbye for my Woodland Mills and hello to my Easy Boardwalk 40. Starting the journey home with my new sawmill. Can't believe it. Good morning, YouTube. Here we are in the truck, loaded up, got some tools in the back. I had mentioned in one of my previous videos that I had some potential changes coming up in my sawmill. Some people were asking if it was a power head for my 126 or what that was, but actually it is a whole new sawmill all together. So, you know, I've been milling about a year, maybe not quite a year, but done enough to know that I really enjoy it. It's a really fun hobby. Uh, that's all it is for me. It's just fun hobby, uh, enjoying it, building projects on my property and all that stuff. So uh, I'm on my way to go look at a, it's actually a used sawmill. It's an easy boardwalk 40, if you're familiar with that. Not a lot of people have heard of them, but I've been uh, fortunate. I've been around one a few times, got to use one a little bit, and it's a great mill. Um, really, really nice. So, found one for sale on Marketplace used a couple hours away, but I'm on my way up now to go look at it. Uh, brought everything I need with me in the event that I like it. I may be bringing it home with me. It appears I have a new sawmill. Starting the journey home with my new sawmill. Can't believe it. That's pretty crazy. We are just about home. Boy, is it pretty much getting dark. All right, YouTube, here we are. Got my mill set in the place that I want it. Still need to give it a bath. It is uh, still muddy from the drive up. Um, but we're here. And I just got some new saw blades in, so we're gonna put a saw, new saw blade on it and do our first cuts. So this uh, blade is about as a dull of a blade as I've ever tried. Um, so I'm super excited. So today we're gonna put a new blade, put a log on the deck and mill our first uh, log, maybe a couple logs. We'll see how it goes. So why did I sell my Woodland Mills and get this mill? I really like my Woodland Mills. Can't say anything negative about them. They're an amazing company, great customer service, great community of people. I learned a lot on that mill and really, really enjoyed it a lot. Really loved also the community online around their products and um, you know, it was a great experience. I wasn't really looking to buy a new mill, but I'd had the occasion a while ago to try out this Easy Boardwalk 40 that I bought and I was really impressed and there was a lot of features on it that I really liked that piqued my interest but brand new this is a as equipped this is about a 14,000 maybe a little more $14,000 mill brand new and it's a pretty significant wait time and I was like well you know it's pretty nice but I don't want to spend that much money on a mill so uh, but you know, I always look online at stuff for sale and I stumbled across this mill for sale and it went but a couple hours away and only has 112 hours on it and got to talking with the gentleman that owned it and he really just was moving on to a new chapter it sounded like and really wanted to get it sold. So 
Um, really a huge factor on this was financially. I think it was a really great deal. And apples to apples, um, you know, that matters on some level at the end of the day. So while I wasn't looking to sell my Woodland Mills right now whatsoever, this seemed to be too good of an opportunity to pass up. Uh, so that kind of, you know, there was a financial aspect to it. And what really appealed to me about this mill is the rails are all fully welded. There is nothing bolt on, there is nothing assembled. This is 100% welded uh, rails. And because of that, it is straight as straight could be. There is zero issue there. Nothing gets out of alignment. It's a, it's a welded, beefy construction. You can see it's got six inch uh, C-channel steel on the rails let's walk around here and you guys gotta uh, forgive all the mud still on it um, but you can see you've got six inch c channel with this rod on top of it for the rails all welded construction it's set up for a 16-6 log right now and you can actually weld extensions on which ultimately i'm gonna do they've stopped this rail just a hair short so you can weld onto there um i'll probably extend this to make it 20 22 feet something like that um because i, I don't know that i'm really going to mill logs that big but i tell you having a longer deck than what you need makes uh putting those logs on the deck just so much easier you don't have to get it down to the inch you got a couple feet to play with it makes it a lot easier so probably going to extend these rails um it is designed to have feet, um, but I really like how my Woodland Mills was set up to be on jack stands. So I bought these jack stands and had a welder down the road come over, fabricated these fittings, and we put these jack stands here so that I can raise and lower this and everything is good to go. Uh, so it makes it a more mobile setup. It does have the, the trailer package. That these come as an option but with the jack stands i don't need to take the axles off or anything a lot of people when they use the stands they the uh the factory feet they take the axle off but my axle is just going to stay there um, so i've put it on jack stands all welded construction super solid uh interesting is your dog clamps here and your log stops are all one piece so when I raise this, that raises up with it. And the idea with that is basically it's going to keep you from hitting your log stops when you clamp stuff up. Um, and then this just slides back and forth. It's got the clamps just like with the mills on my other mill did. It's not a screw down clamp. It's just a clamp just like that. Uh, and then also you'll see here, and it comes with one, two, three, four clamps on this 16 foot rail and next to each bunk you'll see you've got this here and basically what that allows you to do when you come in if you want to push a log over you can just put your uh, cant hook in there and push that over to snug that up so that that's a pretty handy feature um, because these log stops go with your clamps You've also got, let's say you're putting a log on the deck and you don't have the clamp set up yet. Um, you've got this set up where these go up there and do that. You can set the log on the deck. And then once the log is on the deck, you can come in here and just lower that back down and uh, you're good to go. So that's pretty nice super robust these rails when you look at this system it's it's a beefy beefy setup a um, couple of other things here just going over the saw head it's got a honda gx 630 electric start super excited about the electric start honda makes a great motor that's a 21 or I think it's a 22 horsepower so i really like the extra horsepower the the 14 kohler on my woodland mills 126 was uh, 
cold start and that's fine but you know when when you're turning it on and off all day that started to wear on me i kind of really was looking for an electric start and having the 21 22 horsepower um really is going to be really really nice so um it's got a built-in little tool carry all right here fuel tank lube right here i've just got water in it right now i just filled that up um one thing that's really really cool so going to the lube you'll see here this actually we'll turn this on in a minute this lever right here when i do that it tightens the belt and engages the blades when i do that watch right here this is the lube tank comes down follows this path right here i can open and close this and then this valve right here watch this valve when i push this out this little manual thing here opens that valve so it's automatic lube that comes out on the blade when you are sawing pretty slick setup so this right here you undo this you can see right here this is your blade guide it moves so you can change your blade guide you've got one on both sides so you've got one right here i can change it's a little bit weird angle because i'm not holding on to it but it's right here it goes right there that goes back and forth battery right there um super nice setup this is your blade tensioner right there so this is loose right now and basically when this washer is flush with the end of this then you know you've got it tight you're good to go the setup to raise and lower you can see here you've got this brake right here and when i lift that brake up this is all mud from my drive when i lift that brake up you can see it lowers the head and then to raise the head let's see yeah so to raise the head i just lift this crank it look how fast and easy that raises i don't know if you can see that let's move the camera so lower it super fast very very easy and then when i raise and lower it that's just really really easy to do that super easy mechanical gears everything's good this is the brake right here you got a brake on the wheel so when you have that engaged the saw head stays put even though you got electric start in it factory comes with this uh rpm right right here this is actually the throttle they've got it basically wired up to where you pull this back that opens the throttle and then this engages the blades and it manually moves the motor you can see the motor physically moving when you do that so and uh, it's a pretty stout setup and really what part of me really likes about this is it's all manual um it's very simple very easy welding construction if there's any issues i should be able to get a welder out here uh, replace parts from the hardware store uh, nothing super specialized about it which is really really good i love that it's got a honda motor um you know there's a lot to like here and then to get into the blades you just pop this off this whole thing pops open and you've got one on on each side that goes across there that's just sawdust i need to come in here and clean everything um yeah and that's really all there is to it and you've got one on that side one on this side the other thing that's really interesting about this sawmill is your blade is going this way right this is running the opposite hand this is essentially left hand operation instead of right hand whereas most all the other mills are right hand and what that means is you put your log up against the clamps here your blade gets dull the most that first cut that you make and all the other subsequent cuts where you're cutting through bark so usually if you're making a square can you do a cut on top you rotate it cut it on top you rotate it four times to get all that bark off and each time on those four cuts you're typically going through the bark almost all the other sawmills i think actually every other sawmill i've seen uh are set up that way this one is the opposite you set this log on here 
you cut that first top off and then you rotate that log and every other cut, the other three cuts are going into fresh cut lumber on that exposed cut and that's all you do. You go through the bark one time and that's it. So pretty, pretty good setup because that keeps your blades lasting longer and staying sharp longer. Um, speaking of blades, I'm also excited. I ordered some new blades from Jerry's ReSharp. I got some Ripper 37s, which I've heard a lot about, and I'm excited to try this uh, sawmill with those new blades. So I never had Ripper 37s before, uh, but my Woodland Mills blades didn't fit this sawmill, so I needed to get some new blades anyway. Uh, the ones that came with it, I can maybe resharpen them, but they're pretty, they're pretty well toast, I think. So had to order some new blades. We got some Ripper 37s, so we're gonna try that today in addition to getting this on the saw, you know, first logs on there. So uh, without further ado, let's, um, let's get things set up. Let's get a log on deck and let's, let's see how it cuts. We got to change the saw blade. I'm gonna go get the saw blades and get that done. And then we're gonna get some logs on deck and let's see what happens. Boop, boop. Here we go. We've got a pack of 10 new new blades let's go out and check them out all right here's the ripper 37s general use 10 degree blade so i'm gonna set this here and we are going to swap out and we need to swap out the blades right out you just walk it off the track Put it through the guides. This is my first time changing this. So. Alright, that's about as easy as it gets right there. I have to say, that's the fastest and easiest blade change I've ever done. That's it. Tightening down the tension. You can see with the way this design is, my log clamp is here, and so my log stop is correspondingly tilted down which in theory what i do like about this if it works out on my old mill i'd have to lower the clamp raise the log stop push the log up against it do the clamp double check everything 
and it was a lot of back and forth a lot of extra leaning over to get that uh, log stop down now it's all connected so i can stay in theory all on this side i'm still gonna have to keep an eye because there's a little bit of wiggle room uh, i'm gonna have to keep an eye on the log stops just to make sure no issues let's fire it up I talked a minute ago about log stops and this right here slides up and down but in theory this comes down and hits a log stop and stops the blade if I'm going to hit that. cleaned that off that was a good straight cut I don't know if that shows up so good on camera but boy that is straight as an arrow this is where you're going to see one of the big differences so what we're going to do is rotate this log 90 degrees this will go up against the stop but usually when I do that on a normal mill the blade will be going this way and I'd be cutting into bark again when I rotate this with the blade going this way, we're milling into fresh lumber. So I think that's going to really help save blades. And I like the look on this ripper. That, that really cut well. Super pleased with that. So let's rotate this log, put it on deck, and uh, let's square this up into a can. I want to get some 2x6s uh, for some roof framing so we're gonna for the covered bridge is really what i'm milling these for so uh or actually this will be yeah i think i'll do this as two by sixes for the roof framing so we're gonna rotate this and uh keep milling it so here you can see we're gonna come down and mill this side and stay out of the bark I'm really liking that setup. Really liking that.
There is not a wave. There is not a dip. I think that's as true straight of a 16 footer I have ever milled. I am seriously impressed. And I gotta say, one of the things so far that I am really pleased with is that right there. Look how straight and true that board is. I don't, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but boy, when you sight down it, it is perfect. So, and one other thing I didn't mention earlier, this saw head, most most mills the saw head the blades at a 90 to the rails this one you'll notice is kicked back it's at a 15 degree angle and they do that on purpose they say it's kind of like when you're cutting a, a tree or a log with a soot with a chainsaw you kind of kick it forward and it kind of digs that blade into the log and helps pull the blade through and cut it same principle with this they have this at an angle and the theory is it pulls it into the log which i have to say it really felt like it was just pulling itself even though it's a hundred percent manual mill and i am super impressed yeah telling you look at that board this is just the cutoff look how straight that is this cant is just wow I am blown away truly blown away in quality on this cut log first impressions i am blown away this is a 16 foot log and wow the uniformness of the cut the quality of the cut and the ease of the cut immediately jumps out at me um i am beyond impressed with how straight and uniform the cut is there's no waver there's no dip there's no wondering it's solid Part of that is, yes, it definitely has a new blade on it, but also with that is just the rigidity and the stoutness, if you will, of this welded deck. It's amazing. I am super impressed. Despite how heavy this saw head is, you can push it forward with one finger. Really, really impressed with that. Love the electric start. Love the whatever it is 21 22 horsepower honda man i love that extra power it cuts through this sappy pine um impressively impressively really really impressed um i don't know that i've ever seen a sawmill produce such high quality lumber and yes this is a manual mill it's going to be a lot more work than a fully hydraulic mill but there is something about this saw head and the weight and the design and the rollers and the rail and this being at a 15 degree angle that it literally just seems to pull itself through. Um, exponentially less work than anything that I've milled before. Highly, highly recommend. I am really looking forward to spending more time working on this sawmill getting to know it more there's a few things i'm gonna keep working on the most efficient way uh, to get the clamps up to minimize my back and forth i think i've already figured out kind of how i'm gonna do it with one log um as you saw here but at first yeah took a little minute to figure that out 
Uh, the only issue I'm having, this is used, um, for some reason the blade lube is not going from the valve all the way down. So I need to figure there's something in that valve, maybe it's rusted up, seized up, I don't know. There's something in there that's keeping the lube from going all the way down. So, But again, if there's an issue, it's $5, $10 in parts at the hardware store easy easy fix i can i can literally go to the plumbing aisle the hardware store take me a minute to replumb it so that that's no big deal um really really pleased really like those blades they cut really good and um yeah i'm i am very very impressed super thrilled with my purchase and um, really looking forward to getting to know this mill more. So let's go ahead and unload these logs. We'll get them stacked and, uh, and it's about dinner time. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, love it if you hit like and subscribe. Thanks.